Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Old wives are angry as 82 years old, Alafia Mboyo picks a new wife, Chioma. Well, as some young queens are divorcing Alafia Mboyo, he still seems unfazed as he's taking up new wives. The Alafia Mboyo picks a new wife, Chioma. And last weekend, according to Kemi Filani, Alafia Mboyo Balamidi Adeyemi stepped out with his new wife, Chioma, in his historical palace in Oyo State. As real estate giant, Chief Tom Murray Williams became the array Oniko of Yoruba land. Kabi Esibu looked young and smart, not only worked with his 13 queens who were looking so beautiful in white lace matched with white headgear, but also his newest wife, Ulobi Choma Adeyemi. She's also very fair and she's pretty too. She stayed at the left hand side of Kabi Esi as he walked in, though many didn't know who she was as her face wasn't one of the regular young Uluris at the palace. The king of music, King Wasu and Yidim Marshall, started singing their praise and mentioned Uluri Chioma Adeyemi. Many of the guests began to ask when Kabi is married Uluri Chioma Adeyemi. And city people investigation revealed that the respected Munda Kobala Midi Adeyemi got married to the new queen last year. Though she is yet to embark on a nine-month course, she will be the first young Eastern queen to Obalamidi Adeyemi. First among many rich celebrity men who made events was His Royal Majesty Alayilua Oba Dr. Sahid Ademola Ifawi Elegushi, the ruler of Ikati Kingdom. His close friend Aki Siku of Lagos, Olofa of Ofaland, Obalara of Ilara, and 13 other Obers, Tom Oyofo, Otumba Tomori Williams, the area Uniko of Yorubaland. So, as it is now, Alafi of Oyo picks a new wife, Chioma, and the old wives are angry. It was just last year that Alafi of Oyo also picked another queen, Queen Dami. And it was all over the news in August when it was reported that jubilation and double celebration is happening currently at the palace as Dami Lola, the youngest wife of Alafi and Voyo, over La Media Day Yemi 3, had cause to rejoice. The beautiful queen celebrated her birthday and was officially announced as the latest Olori in the palace. In a picture that went viral on social media, the revered monarch and Dami Lola could be seen signing some documents with Society Plus gathered wedding papers. This queen had earlier taken to a social media platform to appreciate the king and his senior wives for their roles in making her feel comfortable in the palace. And this was all she wrote. Today, August 5th, 2020, and by the grace of Almighty Allah, year older, I cherish so many things. My parents, son, friends, associates, and all queens in the palace of the Allah from Voyo, who are like mothers to me. I appreciate their tutelage and mentorship. Thank you so much. And above all, His Imperial Majesty, the Allah from Voyo, Obalamidi Olaiwala Adeyemi 3, my mentor, inspiration, motivator, and husband. May Allah bless you. Happy birthday to me. This was just in August 2020. And according to KBS in an interview he granted many months ago in his words, he did not propose to any of his wives. And this was what he said. I did not propose to any of my wives. They desire to be with me because I sent them to school. After their university education, I told them to leave, but they refused and insisted on staying with me here in the palace as my wife's. The least educated of them has a higher national diploma and is now in the university. I don't begrudge or offend women. Marriage is an institution that must be defended. Each partner has a role to play in marriage. My wives have their individual quarters. God has given me some type of ability and grace to keep a woman, especially beautiful women. I don't disclose my conversational activities with one wife to another. I maintain a strict code of confidentiality. I've learned that I must positively make an impact on people and make a great first impression. Of course, they, my wives, sometimes have disagreements and conflicts of opinions, but I have been graced by God to know how to ensure that the conflicts don't escalate. This was what I laughed for you said. The events which sent the whole of Oyo town agog also paraded many super rich Lagos big boys who had been in Oyo town a day before the event to honor the Lagos real estate giant. It was just last year. The two queens allegedly dumped a life in Voyo after he locked up one of them in his cell. And according to Gist Lover, Queen Dami and Queen Anu took to their heels after Dami was locked up in prison for allegedly going against the palace rule. This was how it was reported. On the rest of the palace, Oyo Kingdom just lost two queens to the streets of Lagos State. These two queens left Oyo yesterday and got to Lagos around 2 a.m. midnight. According to them, they are tired of the palace and how the king is treating them. They want to follow the queen or last footsteps, saying that she's cashing out in Lagos. And according to our sources, 
Brindami was locked up in a palace prison for like a week, as she was said to have gone against one of the palace rule. All her belongings were seized from her. After she was released, she took few of her clothes and fiam to Lagos, together with another queen, Queen Anu. If all the queen they run come out for palace, who will come remain? Make all these queens stay in one place, so and I come in peace. And after them, one of the wives of Allah, who is identified as Olori Badira Tola Iton Adenyon, aka Queen Ola, took to social media platform to share some words of advice with her friends and followers. And the queen, in a post she shared in her instant story, approached the topic of relationships and how those involved the ones should conduct themselves. And according to Queen Ola, breaking up or getting a divorce from a relation is absolutely fine. In addition to this, she said that it is also acceptable for people to start their lives over or move on from a faulty relationship. And in her words, divorce is okay, breaking up is okay, starting over is okay, moving on is okay, staying saying no is okay, being alone is okay. What is not okay is staying somewhere where you're not happy, valued or appreciated. That is not okay. Well, among the three queens that fled the palace, Queen Damil went back to the palace, while Queen Ola and the other one, Queen Anu, had divorced from Alafi of Oyo. And it is now reported that Chioma was taken in by Obala Midi Adeyemi III. Also last year, when he took in Damil Lola, However, Damilola was among those queens who ran away from the palace, but returned later on to the palace. She was the only one who returned back. Last year was a year of controversy surrounding the palace. One of the queens who divorced the king, Queen Badirat Ajoke, popularly known as Queen Ola, revealed that the struggles she faced in the year 2020 when she turned 31 were numerous. In the social media platform, Queen Ola shared a picture of herself in a ball dress with a note revealing the challenges she's been through. And she said, let me blow your mind. This year, I've seen a lot. I fought so many hidden battles, betrayed, depressed, lied on, battled emotional trauma, read so many things about myself on the blog that I don't even know about me. Little did I know it was a step to something more better than what I have left. If I tell you my story, you will probably shed tears for me. Not all that glitters is good, but alhamdulillah, I am healed. Please say a prayer for me. Well, Obala, Media Day Yemi 3, as it is now, has the youngest wife in the palace named Chioma. And the old wives are hungry, but then... Congratulations to Obalamidi Adeyemi 3 with his new wife Chioma and the entire palace.